Welcome to CallRef, a pipeline for collaborative and Git-based literature reviews. I'm Gerrit Wagner. And I'm Julian Fessler. Today, we're excited to present CallRef. CallRef is a standard for data and collaboration management that supports the entire literature review process. In literature reviews, we still have to waste a lot of time with data wrangling, operating complex interfaces, dealing with unwieldy reference managers, and converting proprietary data formats back and forth. We're not prepared to complete the process efficiently with updates and multiple search and review iterations. Our inspiration to address this challenge are the Tidyverse and statistical data analysis packages. In these cases, we've seen the benefits of shared data structures, which allow users to select and combine different packages with ease. Our work also builds on Git with its transparency, reproducibility, and scalability built in. With Git as a basis, we could really scale collaboration within review teams and beyond by involving the broader research community. Git also makes it much easier to undo changes or test different extensions. We believe that the design of data structures really matters in order to create an ecosystem of review tools. And for Git, we need to think beyond tabulated data structures. These data structures would differ from conventional ones in reproducible research. For literature reviews, we need to regularly feed updates and new records into the process. And the process itself combines manual and automated steps. That's very different from the typical reproducible research analysis where we rarely manipulate the raw data and all the changes are purely computational. But simply dumping everything into Git version control would create a huge mess. If we combine shared data structures, standardized operations, and a Git workflow, everything becomes much more efficient and we can cycle through the review process with ease. We believe that just proposing a data structure and management system would not be enough. To show the benefits and to get this idea to fly, Corif is now available as a first prototype and Garrett is now walking you through the live demo that covers the entire process end to end. So welcome to the demo. This is the three-step workflow of CallRef, and all you need to know is CallRef status. This command shows you the current state of the project and also tells you what the next operations are. So you run CallRef status, then run the next operation, and then you can also validate the changes. So you basically repeat these cycles. This will take you through the whole review project, from initializing the project to retrieving the metadata and PDFs, screening activities, as well as different forms of data analysis and synthesis. So, call ref status. Which now tells us that we should initialize the call ref repository. And we can take any review type from that list. Let's just go for a scoping review as an example. And you can read up on the details in the documentation. So now everything's set up. And you see that different directories and files were created. Okay, so upon call ref init, we have uh, the, the status now tells us that there are zero records in the process. And the next operation is call ref retrieve. And this tells us how to add search results. So you could simply copy files on pip, ris, xlsx to the data search directory. And we could provide PDF documents, or you could run an API-based search. So let's try that. So here we are in the documentation where things described. And you see the different options for API searches, and we just go for the example. So I run it and. The example is the Crossref database, two databases, additional databases from our discipline, and we search for microsourcing as the keyword. So we run these commands and it fetches all the results. Um, and then we run call of status, where we see 33 records in the process. And we should run call ref retrieve again. Which now tells us that retrieve is a high level operation consisting of the search, load, prep, and to do. So let's run that and I'll explain to you what happens in the background. So the search results are stored in the data search directory. And the settings are in the settings JSON. Um, that's where the search parameters or the API calls are stored. 
Now the load operation brings everything into the same BibTeX format and it adds a few fields. Um, for example, in the call ref status, which keeps track of the state of each record throughout the process. Now, this could be MD imported and it changes to MD prepared, perhaps um, pre-screen excluded or synthesized in the end. Now the call ref origin points to the original record in the search source. So it's important to keep track of that. Now the prep operation also uses provenance data, describing where each field comes from and whether there are any quality defect. For example, the title comes from this uh, source and it has a quality defect because everything's in capital letters. Now the prep operation resolves all of those quality defects based on high quality data sets like color of curations or crossref. Um, in this case, you see that everything's fixed, you know, no, no remaining quality defects, and it's even connected to a call ref curation. So coming back to our example, we see that everything is completed. We repeated the search with no additional records that were retrieved. The load was completed for the different search sources. In the preparation, we see several uh, records that were that are quality curated as well as two records that are excluded automatically. And in the pre-screen, there are a couple of duplicates that were identified and merged. So the next step, according to core ref status, is pre-screen, where we provide a short explanation at the beginning. And then we check each paper, whether it's relevant to our objectives. So in that case, it's microsourcing, it says it's relevant. Same here. So in the end, we get a short overview of our coding and the next step is to run call ref PDFs. So that retrieves the PDFs from our local hard drive, from other projects, as well as online from the um, open access PDF collection of on paywall. So now there are a couple of PDFs that would need to be retrieved manually, but um, I'd like to continue with the process and just skip the screen, which is pretty similar to the pre-screen. So we, can, we include all in that step. And now in the call ref status, it suggests the immediate next operation, the manual retrieval, but we can also um, go for the verbose mode, which gives us more options. So here we see more operations and additional information on versioning and collaboration. Um, we see that in the data operation section, there's Prisma um, flowchart, um, an Obsidian vault for data analysis, as well as a manuscript that we can find here. Um, there's information on how to build the manuscript and how to create versions. So let's just have a look at the output. Um, you can see the Word document um, with the Prisma flowchart, all the details, uh, the figures added based on the pipeline. There's a to-do list of the relevant records that would need to be synthesized and the full reference section with all the details. So basically we've completed a whole literature review in just five minutes. And we can also um, go online to see the example repository. Um, so you can use Git to collaborate in small teams in private or also in larger teams in public projects. So there's no limitation here. You also see that there is full transparency um, of the changes. You have one commit for each operation that we completed. You can go into the individual commits, have a short report at the beginning, and also see the detailed changes that were applied throughout the project. So now I'm sure you're all wondering, how can I try this and how can I get involved? Well, there's a variety of ways in which you can get involved, and they somewhat re also reflect our vision for how ColorRef will develop going forward. By the way, all the different links here on the slide will be available in the video description. 
First of all, Cardiff is live on GitHub and you can go today and try it out. Use it for your literature review projects and let us know what you think. The more and more people will use Colref, the more we will be able to refine the best practices and, for example, tailor to the nuances of particular review types that you are working with. As you've seen in the demo, Colref is built with extensibility in mind from the start. So we are looking forward to many, many contributions and extensions that integrate Colref with your most favorite review tools. We have only briefly touched on the possibility of curated repositories in the demo, but we envision community level curations to play an important role for the reuse of review projects. And you can read more about what we mean by that following the link to our Colref curations. And so ultimately, we hope that Colref will become the data management standard for literature reviews. But to make that happen, we need you. So please download Colref today and start using it. We are looking forward to your feedback.